guys. It is your YouTube friend, Brittany. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, guys. Let me fix myself. How I'm gonna be. How I'm gonna be. I'm okay. Yeah. This is awkward, but David is hogging the living room where I would prefer to sit and do my readings. And I just came on here to hang out with y'all because I was having a little bit of a bad day, a hard time. Man, people be lying. Like, these relationships be no joke. I don't know what people be doing with their lives. With all this damn lying they be doing and these egos that people have. I know that I have been a um, bit ego driven before at times in my life. But it is very strange to me when a person is trying to convince you that they're one way but they're actually a whole nother type of way and so since i just experienced <clears throat> something i mean i've been experiencing it for the last couple of weeks now with a certain individual and it's just like that's not really my friend i see it now that person is their own friend so i came on here to talk to you my friend, my YouTube friend. Um, somebody could be a awesome writer. You're saying email. Hold on, y'all. That is actually Demaya at our house in San Mateo. I got my ugly ass all up in the camera. I was trying to <laughs> send a message back. Anywho, okay, so someone is an excellent um, writer. And there is someone who is scared of what people may say if you were to write your book or whatever this writing is that you want to put out or else spoken word. Someone wants to sing their song or do art. It's like some type of spoken word or written art or singing, but um, they're scared to live this beautiful dream. They're scared to like just to grow and to flourish and to become whoever it is that the divine is calling them to be or leading them to become um they are so worried you are someone around you so worried i feel like this is about you at some aspect of your life where you are concerned that people are going to be shocked by the new you now you don't have to be a writer or a singer but please let me know in the comment section below um, you can just put, I'm a writer, I'm a singer, or put a microphone, or put a, put a picture, I mean, put the little pin emoji or something, or, or something so I can know. Um, there's somebody that is scared to come out with their new body. Someone got some work done on their body. Someone has got a new hairdo, um, or a surgery procedure that makes their face look younger or look a little different. There's something very different about someone watching this video and you are scared of what people are going to think. Or not even that you're scared, but you are a little hesitant on releasing, coming out after. Okay, so it's like you are, you are a, you were once a caterpillar and you went into this cocoon. And you worked on yourself. You possibly put a lot of work into a relationship with a lover, a love interest, or with children, or family, with your grandparents, or something. Something changed about you. Um, and when you come out of this cocoon as a butterfly, people will be shocked. And this could be because of a same-sex relationship. Somebody could be scared to come out of the closet. Now that I think about it, I was hearing out of the cocoon into a butterfly. But maybe it's more like out of the closet because we got the card 39 that says 
free from judgment, free to love. So you could have been having a beautiful dream, dreaming a beautiful dream about this same sex relationship that you are daring to go forward in, but you were worried about what people were going to think. But it's like, okay, if you're a woman, you've been dealing with a woman. I mean, you were dealing with a man, a man who treated you right. And so you could have manifested this new relationship. You could have manifested this new relationship with another woman. And it's like, now you're ready to come out the closet and you don't care what they are going to think. Our spirit is telling you to stop caring so much about what other people are going to think. Because like you've been told so many stories, you don't know if when you die, you're going to heaven, hell, um, what they call that in between, limbo, um, what else they call it, uh, uh, something archy what they call it purgatory people don't know what's gonna happen they don't know if their spirit is being um being recycled and you're gonna be born again people just are lost at this point so it's like spirit is telling you to free yourself from all that drama and after the storm come out and be your new person be your new boo your new you you're free to love whoever you want come close my door david you are free to love whoever you want and you're free from judgment. You don't have to worry so much about what they think because really people don't have no heaven or no hell or no limbo, lingo, purgatory or nowhere else to put you in. All they have is a story that was told to them. Somebody told them, oh, the book says or those ancient scripts and texts said that, but it's like so many ancient texts and scripts that say so many different things. It's kind of like at this point you can decide your own um for your mind's sake to release so much of the burden that others have placed on you by telling you how to live your life and that if you don't live like this then you're going to go to hell i don't think that's real and i don't think it's fair um i'm not saying that the bible is not accurate or that it's a lie that's not what i said so please don't even try to play with me in my comment section or in within your own mind because i i'm not saying nothing bad about that book that book we call it the good book for a reason Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. So there are some very basic instructions in there on how to be a good steward, how to be a good person here on this planet, how to take care of Mother Gaia. The Bible gives us a lot of useful information on how to live life here on earth. It does. However, there are some things that people have read in a book are they were it was beaten to them in church as they grew up or in their family whatever it is and it could this could be you that you're you come from a family a family that's very religious or very something and they want you to only date in your religion or in your culture or they want you to be you know if you're a male they want you to be with a female if you're a female they want you to be with a male but that's not up to them now, this is very odd, and I'm getting off of the... I mean, ain't nothing wrong with doing um, same-sex readings or whatever. There's nothing wrong with it, but this seems like it's very urgent for somebody. So, please let my nosy ass know what's popping. Like, what's cracking? Because, um, yeah, because everybody matters. My life matters. Black lives matter. Your life matters. Our life matters. Your love life matters. So if you want to be happy and there's somebody that's treating you good and you're happy with that person, you keep the same integrity. Okay, yes, I'm dating a female now and I'm a female, but no, I'm still not a hoe. Yes, I'm dating a female and yes, I'm still loyal to that one person. Yes, I'm dating. And if you're a male, yes, I'm dating a male now, but I am happy with that one person and I am not a cheater and I do not see other men or, you know, whatever it is, keep your integrity and be with that one person and be loyal to them and be loving and kind and caring and try to get further in life together. You know, I don't know where these people have learned how to date. I don't know where the fuck these people learn how to be married at. And people get married and be having a whole nother relationship with a whole nother chick. Then they will they will cheat on their wife and get in a new relationship then cheat on the new relationship. So now you got a wife, a girlfriend, and a side chick. Like, it's too much going on in these streets. So if you're happy, um, I advise you to be happy in whatever it is. 
that you are in and visualize success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. Because who's not who's to say that this person won't be your best friend for the rest of your life? Who's to say that? Just because they're the same sex as you does not mean that you can't be happy with this person and live a loyal, loving relationship. But again, books and success together. Somebody here is, spirit is tugging on you for your mental. There's somebody behind this camera. I love doing this. I got to get my nails back on my fingertips so I could. Because there's somebody behind this camera that is a good writer or a good. You are an excellent thinker. You are so. You're a visionary. And your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. So if you're somebody, you could, this could be about anything. You could be into the stars, into astrology. You could be into, um, into herbal medicine and, and plant medicine. You could be into natural skincare. You could be into tarot, oracle reading. You can be into um, some type of root work or spiritual practice. But you are a good speaker and a good thinker. And so you should be writing down your thoughts. When it comes to this spirituality stuff, like if you have a thought about this, about tarot readings, or if you know anything about tarot, you should possibly be writing books about how to use different spiritual tools to reach a certain, um, a certain vibration in life. There's so many tools that we can use to elevate and grow, to expand and like widen our mindsets. And I just feel like Spirit is saying that you're somebody that is being led or being called to help other people grow spiritually. So think about that. And let me know, are you writing something? I'm a writer. <laughs> I haven't wrote. I need to sit down and write. Also, um, Spirit is saying that you are profoundly clairvoyant and that the situation that you're in, it has a uh, um, basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight. For your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. So more about teaching. So visualize success when it comes to these books. Because you, I, somebody here, did, now everything's not going to line up with everybody. But one out of 100 people, one out of 30 people, something like that. Somebody here is, is very clairvoyant. Your mind, your third eye is active. It is working hard. You have visions. You have dreams. And I don't know if you realize yet that your dreams, you are actually... The things you are dreaming are actually happening in another realm, in another dimension, in another time. But your body is asleep. But your mind, your spirit, your soul is at play in the cosmos. Um, and you wake up and you have these visions and you know things. Um, or you would be somebody that would benefit very greatly from having some clear quartz crystals around you. Clear quartz, rose quartz, black obsidian, um, you probably should invest in a cute little crystal ball um, to go in your house. Um, different things that, that spiritually charge your aura and cleanse your aura um, to help you receive messages better. Help you understand them better. So that you can guide people and teach people. Okay, that's what I have for you, collective. So, um, yes. See you later, boo.